King Charles has been told the royal family is at risk of fading into insignificance by a biographer of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Royal watcher Omid Scobie told the Common Sense podcast the end game for the Windsors is playing out in front of us. Mr Scobie said, in terms of the royal family, the end game, that's still playing out in front of us. They are regularly presented with opportunities to reflect, to take accountability to speak. We are at a time where we expect far more transparency from our public figures than ever. So this institution shrouded in mystery and still desperately trying to keep the smoke and mirrors up doesn't quite fit into where we are at as a society. Harry and Meghan ally calls on there to be aware of line with firm or face risky spot Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle have given unprecedented insight into the royal family and in doing so, they have provoked a backlash from some of their critics, with Piers Morgan and Candace Owen slamming the couple for detailing their rift with the UK-based royals. Now, however, a royal author has claimed the Sussexes risk losing some of their staunch supporters. There is a slow realization that we are starting to see from the royal family that that is the reality for them. What they face now, forget about Harry and Meghan for a second, just their mere existence, their story has raised issues about misogyny between the institution of the monarchy, about unconscious bias or racism. He continued. There are also bigger issues with the institution's entrenchment with the British media, that toxic relationship that has actually made the lives of other family members a living hell. The author of Finding Freedom, Harry, Meghan, and the Making of a Modern Royal Family went on to ask what modernization of the monarchy looks like. Read about Harry and Meghan's game plan being destroyed he said, ill use the Netherlands. The King of the Netherlands is a great example, who recently announced that he was backing, or he had called for a three-year, independent study into the Dutch royal family's involvement in slave labor and the history of colonialism within the country. He wanted to own it and take accountability for it more than just the thoughts and prayers approach we see from the, British, royal family which is simply to acknowledge that it was abhorrent and that's that. Three Dutch historians and a human rights expert are carrying out the investigation which is set to take three years and spans a period from the late 16th century until the post-colonial present. The Dutch king said in a statement when the study was announced in December, profound knowledge of the past is essential to understand historical facts and developments and to see their impact on human beings and communities as clearly and honestly as possible. Mr. Scobie's remarks come after Buckingham Palace released more details of King Charles' coronation weekend, starting on May 6. King Charles is believed to want to modernize the monarchy by making it more accessible to the public. The monarch has been egged on by his heir Prince William who is understood to favor reform. The Telegraph reported in December that while the King's former residence Clarence House was quite a modern organization, Charles has to assimilate with structures at Buckingham Palace which are rooted in the 1950s. Since becoming King, the royal family has also been rocked by bombshells from Prince Harry's memoir Spare, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex Netflix series and accusations leveled against a former lady-in-waiting to Elizabeth II, Lady Susan Hussey. Prince Harry's book has sold more than three. Two million copies worldwide after just one week of publication and will likely rank among the best-selling memoirs of all time. Penguin Random House said Harry's headline-making memoir sold one. Six million copies in the US alone.
It compares to the first week sales for blockbusters such as former U.S. President Barack Obama's A Promised Land and former First Lady Michelle Obama's Becoming, which has sold more than 17 million copies since coming out in 2018.